Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for testers tutorial, we are going to learn about sets in Python. So as we have understood lists and we have walked through the Python documentation, same way we'll do for the list uh, for the set. So I'll find the Python documentation on Google and this is the official website. So if you simply go to python.org and go to the doc, so basically there is a documentation tab here. So I'm covering this because many of you have uh, mentioned that it, you are not able to find the documentation. So I'm covering from the beginning how you can navigate through the documentation. So click on documentation and it will open this particular page. And then here we are referring tutorial or library reference. So this is all the 3.x resources uh, for the documentation. So tutorial is what we are referring to. Now, in order to learn set we'll simply find sets here so we'll go to the sets under data structures and we'll read the details that are mentioned for set here so set is an unordered collection with no duplicate elements now as we have seen in list list is an um, indexed or ordered collection so there are indexes wherein you can specify at which particular order you want to insert an element so there is a possibility in list that you have you can achieve that however in set it is unordered and you cannot have duplicate elements within the set now within the set or the basic usage of set is uh, include membership testing and eliminating duplicate entries so say for example you are trying to test something and you are you are fetching the values and you want to eliminate the duplicate values so what you'll use you'll use set in that particular case right so uh, you you are querying the database and for within the database you get certain test records and you do not want to store the test records for your automation testing or duplicate test records for your automation testing so in that particular case we'll be using set when we go to the python uh, with selenium uh, selenium with python uh, tutorials so understanding where you will be using these things is very important and that's why if you read this documentation it clearly uh, explains what exactly the usage is and how you can use it right so set objects are supported uh, are also support mathematical operations so like you can do unions on set you can do intersection you can find the difference symmetric difference etc so We'll cover all of these mathematical operations and the methods that are supported on set in the next tutorial. But here we'll just cover the basics of set, what exactly a set is. The other important thing is you can define set with the curly braces. So like in the uh, list, we had the square brackets, sets are defined with the curly braces or the set function. So we'll understand all of this in a moment when we'll go to the pie chart. All right. So let's go to PyCharm and on PyCharm, in PyCharm here, I will create a new Python file and I'll say sets in Python. So a file has been created. Now, in order to define a set, what we have understood is we can simply use the curly braces and within the curly braces, we can specify the values within our set. So we can simply say 10, 20, 30, 40, right? And I can assign it to just demo set. So variables which holds this particular set. All right. I can also do or I can also define a set like I can say demo set two, which can which holds integer or um, different data types. Say for example, so it it holds integer and then it holds strings, and it can also hold the float right so i can have a set which holds different types of values right or different data types i can have another set which holds just say for example strings right so similar data type or different data type so i can have just strings within a set okay so for example this set only contains strings this set only contains integers and this contains multiple or combination of integers strings or float etc so this is all possible when you define the set okay now general operations on set so say for example i want to print the values 
of the set so i can simply say print and the set so i can print demo set and it will print me the set right so this is how we define the set and assign uh, the values basically so it, uh, this is a set variable and then i'm allocating the set to this particular variable right so similar to list but it won't accept duplicate values now say for example i assign a duplicate value here in this particular case uh, 20 okay and now again i print it so what will happen so you can see that it has eliminated the duplicate value so 20 has been eliminated only 120 has been taken right if i run again you can see that it's still not there if i have say for example another 30 there so there are you know a couple of more duplicate values for 30 so if i run it you can see none of the duplicate values are being taken so that's the advantage or that's the usage of set or why the set was being uh, defined in the python data structures now the other important thing to remember about the set is you can define the set with the function set as well so say for example i want to define a set for uh, so i can use a method set so i can simply say set and in the curly braces i can have multiple values within there okay so i can say 45 and then comma separated uh, some other value okay and then comma separated some other value and then say for example one more value okay so if i print this demo set now demo set 4 let's see what it prints All right so let's see what demo set 4 gets printed so you can see that i have used this set method to define the set so this is helpful say for example you have certain set of values and you want to use the set method or the function to convert the values into the set and assign it to the variable and then do the, the operations on that particular set so you can use this method if you go to the documentation you can see here that to create an empty set you have to use this set method right uh, and you cannot use this curly braces to create an empty set so that's another important thing that if you want to create an empty set you always have to use the set function and not the curly braces because this curly braces will create an empty dictionary and not the set so we'll cover dictionaries in just a couple of other tutorials okay so here if you see the brief demonstration you will see a lot of details around there but we'll cover anyways these in this particular tutorial okay so now we have defined the set we have def we have understood that set cannot hold duplicate values set can hold multiple values and set is unordered right so set there is no particular order of the set so that we have understood in this particular case so we have defined the set as 10 20 30 40 but while printing you can see it has printed 40 then it had printed 10 then 20 and then 30 right now it doesn't hold any specific order say for example i add a 5 ahead of this and run it then you can see it has printed 20 now then 5 then 40 10 and 30 so set doesn't have any specific order okay the other important function is i can find the length of the set so i can use len len method so that's common to find the length so i can simply say length of the set so for example demo set i want to find the length i can find the length of the set so you can see that the length is five why because it's not counting the duplicate value so it has counted one two three four and five right so it has discarded the duplicate value of 20 and two duplicate values of 30 okay so that's how you will get the length of the set then there are a couple of more things the other very important thing is that we can use the membership operators to find whether a particular element is within the set or not 
So that will be very commonly used. So we can simply say, say for example, I want to check whether um, if say value 20 is part of this particular set. So we can say uh, print 20 in and then I can say demo set one. So what this will do is it will check whether this particular value 20 is in the demo set and we have seen this in the membership operators anyway. So if you haven't watched that, so you just go through and watch it and then you will understand. So you can see that 20 value 20 is in the set demo set one and that is why it has printed true, right? If I say 200 in this particular case, then it should return false for that particular case, right? If I say 20 as a string, okay? So rather than 20 as an integer, I'm checking, I was checking as an integer. Now 20 became string because it's in the curly, uh, in the, in the quotes now. So this particular time it will return false because there is no 20, which is basically a string, the number 20, which is formatted as a string within this particular set, right? So we can use the membership operators with set and there are lots and lots of other functions that we'll discuss in the next tutorial and how you can learn a lot more about Python programming and sets. I'll navigate through all of that in the next tutorial. All right. So this is the brief introduction about the sets, how you will define set and the key uh, functions or basically what are the key properties of set within Python. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.